Warning, this fucking video contains spoilers. What the fuck is up, everyone? Prison Meddler here, back of part 7 on the Halloween Review tr Franchise. And today, I will be reviewing Halloween H2O, 20 years later. Uh, this film takes place 20 years after... Um, the second movie, it ignores all the Thorn trilogy as well as the Season of the Witch timeline. And, um, yeah, it brought back Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode. Um, she works at the college at a different state and she's still, um, haunted by Michael Myers and she is just too worried about her son's future and all that. The film is directed by Steve Miner. He's the, the he also directed Friday the Thirteenth Part Two and Three, and it also stars some familiar actors as well, such as LL Cool J. Yeah, we got a rapper in this movie who plays the security guard, and it also stars um, Josh Hartnett. He's the guy who who's in the movie 30 Days of Night. Um, it also stars um, Janet Lee, a.k.a. Jamie Lee Curtis's mom. She is also known for that shower scene from the movie Psycho. Yep, she's in the movie Psycho, and she's also Jamie Lee Curtis's mom. And yeah, got some pretty familiar faces in this movie, so... What does that tell you? And also, it also stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Um, he's known for Batman's The Dark Knight Rises, as I'm, you know, and other movies. Um, you see his familiar face. So yeah, um, as you all know the drill, let's we'll start with the negatives and work to the positives. Okay, so I only have two negatives in this movie. So um, um, the first negative I got is the movie just drags on way too long. Um, it should be like more kill scenes, uh, maybe at least two or three more kill scenes. There's only three on-screen death scenes, which is really not enough for a slasher, especially a sequel, which is pretty lame to tell you the truth. Um, so that's one negative. And the second negative is a Michael Myers movie not taking place in Haddonfield is a total sin. That's pretty much like having a movie with Jason Voorhees not being taking place at a Camp Crystal Lake or not having a Norman Bates movie taking place at a Bates Motel. That's pretty much like that. So that's um, another negative. Okay, so um, I have one mixed opinion and this movie feels more like a Scream movie than a Halloween movie. I think it has the same writer who did the first movie, and plus the musical sco score sounds way too similar to the Scream movies as well. It pretty much did not match the ha Halloween's tone to it, so, um, but it doesn't really, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing, so that's why I decided to call this a mixed thing instead of a bad thing. So yeah, that's only one mixed opinion I got in this movie. And then, um, I got some few positives here in this movie. Alright, um, the third act is, um, it's just amazing to see, especially, um, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, aka Laurie Strode, fighting Michael Myers. It's just very fun to watch. <laughs> I mean, even though I wouldn't call it scary, it's just, it's very fun to watch. And, um, another positive is Sarah's death scene is actually pretty brutal. Yeah, that's the only death scene I ever liked in this movie. So there's that. And also there's another positive. Um, a really great characters. Um, probably one of the best characters in the Halloween franchise. Since there's not any um, hateable characters or assholes or douchebags as far as I know of. There's a lot of characters that are very likable so yeah we got some cool characters in this movie that are not total assholes in a very long time so major props for that 
And um, also, I do like the dynamics of Laurie Strode and her son, which is really great to see here in this movie as well. I also find the bathroom scene pretty terrifying. <laughs> Um, what Michael does is he just stole their car. That's just it. And it didn't turn out what you thought it would be. We thought that Michael actually killed the girl, but it actually turned out to be a spider, which is pretty terrifying and a bit funny at the same time. And I got the last positive, and that is the ending. Which brings into Resurrection, which, oh boy, I will, I'll save the rest on the Resurrection, but I do love the ending, and I think it's the perfect way to end the Halloween series, is Lori chopping off Michael's head. By the term Michael, I mean Michael, which I'm going to save all that for re for my review for Resurrection. So, um, yeah, um, definitely a great way to end the movie. So, that's pretty much it. Um, that's mainly my... Uh, that's pretty much it for H2O on my positives. I know there's really not a lot. That's because, um, it's, this is a pretty drag-on movie, which there's really not a lot to talk about. So, um, yeah. Final thoughts on this movie. I do think it's decent, but I do think this movie is very overrated. It's not a bad movie, don't get me wrong. Um, I just think it's overrated and... Mainly because it's a pretty slow movie and it kind of drags on. But it has plenty of enjoyable moments. So, yeah. Um, I'll give this movie a 3 out of 5. It's decent. So, yeah. I think it's a decent movie. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, I do think it's a really great sequel. But I've seen better Halloween sequels than this, to be honest. I just think H2O is overrated. That's all. And I guess I'll see you until the, my review for Halloween Resurrection. I really don't want to do that review, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to watch the full movie this time. So yeah, this is going to be a torture fest. And this will be more of my angry rant than an uh, actual review so yep yeah, hope you enjoy all my angry rants since you guys love my angry rants and my angry videos so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end the video now so if you enjoyed this video subscribe to me if you haven't click the bell the notification make sure you leave a like and comment most importantly share this video so i can get more views and subscribers so till then i'll see y'all next time peace out everyone